The Female Artists Association of Nigeria in Abuja put together this show in the nation's capital to talk about the dangers of misusing drugs as well as other social ills in the society. These are some of the members of the Female Artists Association of Nigeria. They are in the Federal Capital Territory to hold another exhibition after the previous one which took place in Lagos. This time, the focus is on another issue, an initiative to achieve the goal of an international society free of drug abuse. Beyond being artists, they are mothers, sisters and caregivers who feel the need to add their voices to the clarion call against drug and substance abuse, which is supported each year by individuals, communities and various organisations all over the world. The female artists have been advocates for social eats especially as it concerns women. Today we are concerned about what is happening in our society today, our children, the youths, our husbands and our daughters who have been so engaged in taking drugs. We say today we are going to give out our own voice by condemning these drugs our children take. With their work of art, they draw attention to this global topic, which has sadly increased over the years. Some of them alluded to a death sentence, while others hit hard on those who encourage it. In this painting, uh, it's mixed media on canvas. Uh, I have been able to portray that when you take drugs, you're getting closer to your grave. So this is a mixed media work on canvas. The title of this work is um, Red Alert. This work basically you know, it's um, talking about the consequences of um, drug abuse. You know, life basically exposes us to uh, two complementary forces, good and bad. Now, depending on whatever habits or that you have, there's a consequence for it. Now, drug is meant to be used and not to be abused. When you abuse drug, you get the consequences. And so the motives you have, you know, littered around this body means the consequences, the negative consequences of drug abuse. And of course, it's an alert ticking. Anything can happen. And of course, if it gets to your brain, you go back up or you pack up. So that is what Red Alert is talking about. Excessive use of drugs actually reduces somebody's lifespan and causes a lot of uh, damage to health to the body. So if you can in any way just know that whatever that situation you're in, do not indulge in drugs. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. The statistics are staggering and those who have been fingered are the youths. So there is a need to give them a safe environment to express their views and ensure they aren't mixing up with the wrong crowd. The title of my work here is Ode to Hope. That's like a song to hope, which depicts that no matter what condition you find yourself in, that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm using it to say, no matter what condition anybody is, do not indulge in drugs, especially excessive use of drugs. So this Ode to Hope now, for like a lot of people, I've gotten to interact with some people who do drugs and I ask them, why do you do this kind of thing? They say they want to use it to ease themselves from what they are going through. Like if somebody is going through depression, a sad situation, all they need to do is just to 
smoke something or to take something that will get them high so that they can easily sleep off. These female artists intend to keep using their skills to bring about positive change in the society as they believe art should no longer be art for art's sake. For some time now, since 2016, I have taken interest in Nigerian highway codes and I have tried to find out the reason of a lot of car crashes because 90% of our transportation here in Nigeria is road. So, and um, I got to realize that it's as a result of faulty decisions by drivers. Now, there are a lot of things that make this driver have faulty decisions. Sometimes the lack of knowledge of the highway code, and sometimes it is the influence of drug abuse, and then sometimes it's also uh, probably bad roads and all that. So, but for this painting here, it's depicting um, a, a, a lady being hit down on a zebra crossing path because of the fa a faulty decision of a driver who was who is high on on drugs. So my painting is showing the aftermath of such a situation, and painting this very ugly scene to say no, we shouldn't uh, um, indulge in such acts because it could it costs lives. Beyond that, they want to support girls who have an interest in creative arts to realize that they have a shoulder to lean on. And here's a peek of what to look forward to the next time you tune in. Next week on Art House. For love is a strife, and love is of death. We created a space for them on our Words Meet segment, but we enjoy hearing some of them perform their spoken word. Then we enjoy this solo show by a contemporary artist in Abuja, See that and more on the next episode of Art House. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. That's Art House this week. We appreciate you for spending time with us and we'll continue to encourage you to up your hygiene, stay safe, and try to use this period to do something creative. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a wonderful day.